Thank you, Chairman Tucker. Appreciate your remarks. Dr. Rose, thank you very much. I would like to thank the committee myself. Uh, there was a lot of hours, a lot of people, a lot of phone calls, but we got through it. It was a, a great process for us. And like uh, Coach Redden and all the other coaches are in this room, this was like a recruiting process. You know, we had a lot of people that we looked at, a lot of people that uh, we came in touch with. And obviously you got to narrow it down to the one you think can do the best job you possibly can. It reminded me of a story that Coach Vince Dooley spoke about one time. Coach Vince Dooley was the famous coach at Georgia. Of course, they weren't very good at the time, and they were recruiting all over the place, and he called all the coaches in. You guys all get in here. Come here, i got something to tell you. Like, What's that? We signed a guy by the name of Herschel Walker. We are going to be on the national scene in a few days. As you all know, Herschel Walker took him to the national championship, and you've heard about Georgia ever since then. In this process, I feel the same type of thing. You know, it was a lot of great coaches, a lot of people we talked with, but we got that type of person here. Jared Calhoun is the type of guy that's going to take us on the national scene. With his contacts, his recruiting abilities, his coaching abilities, and the staff that he's assembled. It takes a lot of people to win championships. And we got the number one guy. Our new head men's basketball coach at the Fighting Falcons of Fairmont State University, Coach Jared Calhoun. Rusty, I appreciate those kind words. Dr. Rose, I appreciate those kind words. Um, this is a chance of a lifetime. Uh, to step up here and finally be able to run my own program. You know, when I was 12 years old, uh, I kind of dreamed about being a head coach, and uh, it's finally come true. So I want to thank all you guys for coming out. Um, the one thing about this job I kept hearing, you know, was tradition, tradition, whether it was Coach Huggins, uh, some of the guys, you know, around the area. I went out, I, I met with Dick Moore. I met with Nikki Arcura. You know, I did my research. I went to see the, the legend, Coach Retton. You know, he said, never forget his wife just told me about three weeks ago, she said, everybody in Fairmont wants a winner. She said, Coach, they will come out. We can pack this place. And, uh, you know, every, everything I just kept hearing was a tradition. You know, with Coach Retton, uh, Coach Haswell, all the great players that came through this program. You know, I'm not here to invent the game. You know, I'm... I've, I've been trained by the best, okay? I, uh, you know, played for Raleigh Massimino at Cleveland State, uh, won a national championship in 1985, tremendous coach, taught me a lot. You know, I'm hiring one of his former assistants, an older guy to me, kind of a big, big brother type. Um, you know, Coach Huggins, uh, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at today uh, without hugs. You know, he taught me everything I know defensively. Uh, he taught me everything I know about life, you know, when, all this was going on I was calling him every day and he said Jared you can build that thing into a national championship and uh, in 2005 when I went to Walsh University as assistant coach I walked into the head coach's office he had hired me hugs convinced the guy to hire me I was 22 years old uh, had no idea what the hell I was doing and hugs kind of worked a deal out where I'd be the assistant coach and I went into the team the first day and I said we're gonna win a national championship in North Canton Ohio and everybody thought I was crazy and, you know, at the end of the year, we won the first ever national championship. Uh, you know, a guy went on to the NBA draft. We graduated all those players, our players around the community. Uh, it was a tremendous thing, and their program ever since has been in the rise going into Division II. Um, you know, I'm not a guy to make a whole lot of promises. I'm not going to sit up here and promise a lot. I will promise you three or four things. The first is our guys will play the right way. Our guys will, will bust their butt every day in practice. Okay, I'll coach them hard. They'll play the game the right way. Okay, they'll take good shots. They'll defend. You know, they'll get after it. We'll be well prepared. Our staff will have these guys prepared. Uh, you know, we, we will be in this community. You will see these guys in the community. They will be at all the sporting events. I can promise you that. They'll be at women's basketball. They'll be at football games. You know, they will do that. We'll be the hardest playing team in America. You know, we have a saying. You know, at West Virginia, nobody's going to out-tough us. You know, we're going to hit guys in the mouth, and we're going to do that here at Fairmont. We're going to go out, we're going to hit guys in the mouth. Uh, fellas, starting tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., 
I expect you guys to be right here in the gym. That'll be our first workout. So I'll talk to you guys about that afterwards. Uh, you fans, you know, I just I encourage you to come out. You know, we need you guys to be the sixth man. We need you at the games. Uh, we will pack this place. It's my goal to, to get out in the community, get the season tickets up. I'll be beating on your doors. You'll be tired of seeing Coach Calhoun, Coach Molinari, Coach Robinson. You guys will get tired of seeing us in your community because we're going to be out there wanting you guys to come to the games. When the Mountaineers aren't playing, we expect you guys to be here. We expect the students to come out. We'll have student giveaways. We'll do a lot of different things uh, to get people in this gym. Uh, we'll schedule good. You know, Coach Huggins has already told me we're going to play the Mountaineers. Uh, that's for sure. I don't know whether it's this year or next year, but I see Mike Parsons over there. I'll be calling him tomorrow about trying to get that deal done. But within the next couple of years, we'll play the Mountaineer. We'll ch challenge ourselves to play the best. Uh, I want to win a national championship. I think it's every coach's dream uh, to win a national championship. Um, we came up a little bit short a couple years ago at West Virginia. We went to the Final Four, and uh, we want to do the same here. Uh, I've hired a, hired a winning staff. You know, we were going over it last night. These guys were at my house. Uh, Man Torres has, uh, was a four-time defensive player of the year at Winthrop. Went to four NCAA tournaments. Okay, as an inspiring coach, wants to, wants to become a good coach. Uh, went to four NCAA tournament appearances. Paul's been the seven, seven out of nine years at Winthrop. Guy that has 22 years of Division One experience. So. You know, you're only as good as your staff, and uh, I think I've hired the best staff uh, anybody can have, uh, and, and I'm very happy with that. Um, you know, does anybody have any questions or uh, anything for me? Like I said, I, I'm really happy to be here. We're going to kick this thing off tomorrow morning with practice. Uh, we're going to hit the pavement running. We're going to recruit, and you know, I've been trained by the best. I see Coach Harrison in the crowd tonight for today. Uh, Joe Missoula, you know, Coach Huggins, you know, we're a fan, we were a family at West Virginia. And uh, I got that same sense of commitment, not only by Dr. Rose, uh, Chairman Tucker, and, and Rusty. I'll be honest with you, my last conversation with Rusty really put me over the top. Uh, this is what I was going to do. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have a family atmosphere. Our doors will be open uh, at any time. I encourage you guys to stop by. You know, it's going to take us a while to get to know everybody. Uh, you know, our family's excited that I made this move. And, you know, Jordan couldn't be here today, but uh, he's watching uh, back home. So thank you.